Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.7 .7 for free and without using Seed Helper. Like many creators these days, I'm on Patreon. If you want to support the channel and get a shout out in my videos, as well as receive Patreon exclusive content, consider donating as little as a dollar per month. This week's Patreon supporter is Alexandi1, who raised his contribution to $3, so a huge thank you to him. But now, onto the video. Yep, that's right, a free homebrew exploit, which works on 11.7 .7 has been released. And this isn't the one Smee is going to announce at DEF CON, that one's still to come. So in the meantime, we can use this free and easy method which I'm going to show you in this video. Like I said, this tutorial is quite easy, but if you do need any help, you can ask me or anyone else on my Discord server, the link to that is down below. All you're going to need for this video is a free DS with an internet connection, an SD card and an SD card reader for your PC. But of course, if you're using a new 3DS or new 2DS, you can use the SD card management software in system settings. But now, let's get started. And remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe if it helped you out. I make new Nintendo videos like this every Sunday. First of all, you're going to want to find your 3DS's firmware version. To do this, just open up system settings and your version will be shown in the bottom right corner of the top screen. Your firmware version may not look the same as mine, but it should start with 11.7. Now you're going to want to note down your entire 3DS firmware version because we're going to be using it later. Once you've done that, return to the home menu and then we can move on to the next step. Now open up the Nintendo eShop because we're going to be downloading a free game. Once you're in, tap the search icon, then type in Sub Wars, then tap OK. Once you tap OK, you should find this game, but this isn't the game we're looking for because this game has update in the title. We're going to have to find the original version or this exploit won't work, let's find that now. And here it is, now we're going to download this game as normal. Once it's finished, return to the home menu and it should take you to the game automatically. Once you try to open the game, it will ask you to update it, but we aren't going to update it because that will stop the exploit from working, just press the A button here. If you already had this game before watching this video, or updated your game by accident, we're going to have to remove the update. Let's do that now. To do this, just open System Settings, and under Data Management, delete the add-on content for Steel Diver Subwars. And that's all you have to do to remove the update data. 
So now let's continue with the exploit. Next, launch Steel Diver Subwars and create a new profile using a me. Once you've created your profile, go back, then go back to the home menu and close the software. And now for the last step until we move on to the PC, open up your friends list and note down your friend code. You can find your friend code in the second card on the top screen. Now head over to your PC. Once on your PC, visit my website at jacksorel.tv or click the link which is down below. Then use the navigation bar in the top right corner of the website to find this page. Click the part 1 dumper button and it will take you to a page like this. Enter your friend code in the first box, then enter your ID0 number in the second. You probably haven't heard of your ID0 number before, so let's find that now. Just open your 3DS SD card, then open the Nintendo 3DS folder. One of these folder names is my ID0 number, but I don't know which one it is, so let's open any one at random, and if you see these folders inside, you've chosen the correct one. As you can see, the contents of these folders are very different, so it should be quite easy to find your ID0 number. Select the correct folder, then press the F2 button on your keyboard and copy the ID0 number onto the website. Then click the button to continue. After a few seconds, it will ask you to enter a friend code on your 3DS, but because I've done this before, it isn't asking me. So enter the friend code it gives you on your 3DS like this, then tap OK. Once you become friends with the bot, it will let you download your file after a few seconds. Back on my website, Download and install Python 3 if you haven't already. I already have this installed, so I don't have to do it again. Then click the Scale Miner button and download the latest release of Seed Miner. Save it to your desktop, then extract it. Then move your movable part 1 file to the seed miner folder. Then move your mouse pointer to inside the window. Then hold down shift and right click at the same time. Then click open PowerShell window here. Windows PowerShell should now open from inside the seed miner folder. Back on my website, copy these Python commands into the PowerShell window. In the second command, replace the XX with your 3DS's ID0 number. Then paste the final command into the PowerShell window. If your PC has a graphics card, leave the command as GPU. 
but if your PC doesn't have a graphics card, or if you don't know if you have one, or if you use Intel Integrated Graphics, change it to CPU. Then hit enter, and your PC will process the file. Depending on your processor or graphics card, this can take a couple of seconds or even over a day, so please be patient, and keep in mind your PC will be unresponsive while this is running. I recommend to leave your PC on overnight to do this, and not to use your PC while it is running. But since I have a good GPU, a AMD RX 580, it only took about 7 seconds. Once it's finished, close Windows PowerShell and retrieve the processed file. The file we're looking for is named movable.sed and it should have been modified recently. Once you have your movable.sed file, you can delete the remaining folders. Back on my website, click the Steelminder button and it will take you to this page. What we're going to do now is select the file we just processed, then upload it. Then you're going to select your FreeDS's region. If you're not sure of your FreeDS's region, just look at the letter at the end of the firmware version. If your firmware ends in U, it's US, E for Europe, and J for Japan. Click Start, then save the file to your desktop. Then under Finalizing, download the Steelhacks installer. And finally, download the latest version of the Homebrew menu. Then head over to the Homebrew Launcher page, which is also linked on my website. Enter your freed Yesi's model and full firmware version. If you don't know if your FreeDS is old or new, just check how many shoulder buttons you have. If you have only L and R, choose old, but if you have four buttons, L, R, Z, L and Z, R, choose new. And don't forget about your region letter, E for Europe, U for US, J for Japan, and K for Korea. And finally, click download other app, and save the file to your desktop. Next, extract the contents of the Steelhacks archive. You will need WinRAR to extract this archive, but don't worry, WinRAR is a free software available online. Now find the file which you just downloaded from the Homebrew Launcher website. Right click the file, then click Properties. Then rename the file to Payload. Make sure not to delete the .bin part, that is a file extension, if you change that the file may break, but if you don't see it, that's fine, sometimes it is hidden. Once you've done that, open up your FreeDS SD card. Then copy the FreeDS folder and the Steelhacks folder to the root of the card. Inside the Steelhacks folder, delete the put payload here file. Then copy the payload file which you just renamed to that folder. Then copy the boot file to the root of the FreeDS SD card. Once you've done that, open the Nintendo FreeDS folder, then your ID0 folder, and then your ID1 folder. Open the title folder, and then this folder. Now we're going to open the folder starting with 000D7. The rest of the folder name can be different depending on your region. And finally, open the data folder. Then replace this file with the one you downloaded. Once you've done all that, eject the SD card, or safely close the connection if you're doing it wirelessly. Then delete the remaining homebrew files from your PC. We won't be needing these anymore. Now over on your 3DS, launch Steel Diver Subwars, 
And remember not to update the game. If you update the game, the exploit will stop working. Well, it looks like our first attempt crashed the console, but don't worry, to fix this, just hold the power button for about 10 seconds until the power LED turns off, then just launch the game again. And we're back, let's launch the game again and hopefully it will work this time. And that's it, you've just homebrewed your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.7. As you can see, there isn't really any apps installed yet, but don't worry, in future videos, I'll show you how to install tools, emulators, games and lots more, so make sure to subscribe. To exit the homebrew launcher, just press the start button and then the A button and you'll be kicked back to the home menu. And from now on, when you open Steel Diver Sub Wars, you'll be greeted with the homebrew launcher. Just make sure you don't update the game or update your firmware version. And again, a huge thank you to Alexandi1 for being this week's Patreon supporter. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and if you want more homebrew guides, just visit my website at www.jacksorrell.tv or subscribe. But anyway, I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.